Okay, let's go ahead and solve this nice little algebra word problem here. And of course, the first step to solve any problem in mathematics is to read the problem. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It says seven times the sum of a number and three is 12. What is the number? So I did tell you that uh, this um, is an algebra word problem. So I guess that's a little bit of a hint, but I'm not gonna give you any more hints because I wanna give you a full opportunity to solve this thing all on your own. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually gonna show you the correct uh, answer in just one moment. And then I wanna walk through step-by-step step on how easy it is to solve this problem. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and it really is my true passion to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. And I'm gonna tell you right now, all of you can be successful in math, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with math. Please do not give up. There's absolute hope uh, for you to be successful in math, but here's what you need. You need to have great math instruction for you personally, okay? What that means is that if you're in a class and you're um, learning from someone, and this is no knock on any particular math teacher, but if you're sitting in the classroom and you're confused for 45 minutes to an hour and you're like, I totally didn't understand anything, well, you are not learning, okay? You're not going to be able to learn if you're not understanding the instruction you're receiving, okay? Now, math is a technical subject and it can be confusing for sure. So the way I like to teach math is to explain things in an easy to understand way so all students get what's going on without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're studying for, something like the SAT, ACT, GED, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also gonna leave links to my math notes in the description as well. Most students take average notes. If you truly wanna be great at math, you have to take awesome math notes. That's so, so important. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. We have seven times the sum of a number and three is 12. What is the number? Well, the number is negative nine sevenths, negative nine over seven. So, you know, at first glance, you might be thinking, well, you're looking for a number like, let's say 17 or, you know, 14, some like nice whole number. But yes, you know, in problems like this, you can have a fraction or a decimal. So if you got this and you were like, oh, this doesn't seem right, Although I feel like I did the problem correctly, I ended up with this crazy answer. Well, if this is the answer, well, that's what it is. Okay, the answer is whatever the answer is going to be, and this is the correct answer. All right, so if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A+, plus, A 100%, and multiple stars so you can show off and tell your friends and family that you are pretty awesome at an algebra word problem today. Nice job. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. So, uh, you know, like what are the steps to solve any problem in mathematics, okay? Now, this seems like very obvious, but you really have to read the problem. And reading the problem, uh, especially in word problems, you're gonna have to read the problem at least two or three times, okay? Two is really not enough. Really, you need to uh, read the problem three times so you can kind of, you know, absorb all the information. Just go nice and slow. The first time you read it, just read it. Second time, you know, kind of slow things down, look for, you know, more specific things. And then third thing, make sure you understand that question. So we have seven times the sum of a number. Okay, so we're looking for some sort of number, right? And three is 12. What is the number? Well, to do this problem, we have to be able to translate verbal phrases like this. We have to translate from an English sentence into a variable sentence or an algebraic sentence, right? So we're talking about translating. This is no different than translating from English to Spanish or, or French to German, anything like that. You're translating from one language into another language. So you're gonna have to know these uh, terms, right? These nouns and verbs. So let's just kind of go through this. You can see I already did the work here, but let's just make sure we understand. So seven times. So what does times mean? Well, this means multiplication, right? So we're gonna have to be multiplying here. Now the sum, what does that mean? Well, the sum, 
uh, means that we're going to be adding things up. But there's a little bit of a trick in this problem, not a trick, but there's something that a lot of students, I think, confuse. I'm going to clarify the, exactly what I'm talking about in a second, but we need to understand what the sum means. So the sum of what, though? We're going to be adding up some numbers. We can add up two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, but we're going to be adding up a number. We don't know what that number is and three. Okay, so the sum of a number and three. And in algebra, anytime you don't know what a number is, that's when you use a variable to represent that number. Okay, so let's take a look at this word here, is. All right, so seven times the sum of a number and three is. Well, this word is is always the equal sign. Okay, just always remember that is is the equal sign. So we're talking about an equation is equal to 12. All right, so we're looking for this number. So let's let n represent the number. Okay, so we'll go and write that right here. And when you're doing an algebra word problem, you always want to uh, establish a variable. We'll let n equal the number in question. All right, so let me write that right there. So now let's go ahead and walk through this. So seven times, so we're gonna have seven times something. Now, this is the key word right here in this particular uh, problem, the sum, okay? So in mathematics, when you're talking about the sum, the difference, the quotient, the product of things, you always want to uh, put sums and differences. Anytime you're adding or subtracting, use grouping symbols, i.e. parentheses, around any sums or differences that you're setting up, uh, especially in an algebra word problem. It's really, really important. Okay, So the sum of what? A number and three. So this is the number, right? I'm gonna let n is equal to the number. So the sum is the, uh, of this of a number and three is n plus three. But we need to put this in parentheses. So this here is seven times the sum of a number plus three is twelve. Okay. So this is uh, what we need to do is set up an equation by translating this verbal phrase into an algebraic equation. And once we've done this right, and you look at your equation and kind of like translate it back, see if this makes sense. You're like, all right, seven times the sum of uh, n, which is a number, plus three is 12. This makes sense. So at this point, once you're convinced that you translated this correctly, what we need to do is take the steps to solve this problem. And now we get to show off our basic uh, equation, sol equation solving skills, right? So what's the first step we need to do? Well, we need to use the distributive property. So this is going to be 7 times n. That's 7n. And then we're going to distribute this 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. So we have 7n plus 21 is equal to 12. So we're looking to solve for n. So what do we need to do next? Well, we need to subtract 21 from both sides of the equation. Okay. Then we're going to add down in a column. Man, our basic equation solving stuff, uh, what are we going to get here? So 7n plus nothing is 7n. And then uh, a positive 20 minus 21 here is 0. So 12 minus 21 is negative 9. Okay, so that's what that is right there. So now we just simply need to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by this positive 7. So when we do that, we get n is equal to negative 9 over 7. And that is the solution. So uh, this uh, type of problem, I would say... Uh, this you could probably see this like in a pre-algebra course. It's certainly, first year algebra, algebra one, uh, this should be pretty easy uh, uh, problem for you to be able to handle. Okay, if you're at that level. Now, if you need help with any aspect of this uh, problem, remember word problems in algebra or nothing more than you know, a kind of the sum total of the skills that you've been learning. They're, applic they're the ap application of the skills that you know you've been acquiring along the way, mathematically speaking, right? So, you're, you know, we're talking about algebra here. So one of the main skills that you learn in algebra is how to solve equations. And there's tons of different types of equations in algebra, linear equations, quadratic equations, systems of equations, et cetera, et cetera. So each one of those type of equations and uh, other type of topics in algebra will have their own respective word problems. So if you're like, I need to get better at algebra word problems, well, you know, it all depends on what topic um, you're in in terms of how to practice for that. So if you're, you know, currently studying quadratic equations and then you have quadratic equation word problems. So here's the bottom line. If you need help in algebra and algebra word problems, make sure you have the underlying algebra skills down, okay, i.e. knowing how to solve equations and how to translate 
uh, verbal phrases into variable phrases. That's very, very important. Okay, so uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. By the way, if this video helps you out in some small way, don't forget to like and subscribe. But let's go ahead and wrap this up by oh, saying what I always love to say, and that is I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.